In this video, we'll be using the law of sines to work a problem that involves bearing. If you've not already done so, press pause to copy down this law of sines. When you're ready to continue, press play. Now the problem that we'll be doing is the bearing of a lighthouse from a ship was found to be north 52 degrees west. After the ship sailed 5.8 kilometers due south, the new bearing was north 23 degrees west. Find the distance between the ship and the lighthouse at each location. So we need a diagram to kind of give us an idea of the problem. We're talking about the bearing of a lighthouse from a ship and then north 52 degrees west. If we were from a ship, so here's our ship. And we want north 52 degrees west. So that means from due north, we need 52 degrees west, which means this direction, um, maybe about like this. So this is 52 degrees right here. Right. Then after the ship sailed 5.8 kilometers due south. So now my ship has sailed due south, 5.8 kilometers. And we now have a bearing to the lighthouse of north, which we already got as our dotted line there, 23 degrees west. So I'm going to uh, since I'm eyeballing my angle here, I'm going to assume that my lighthouse is right here. And this angle is my 23 degrees west of north, or north 23 degrees west. And our question is, uh, what is the distance between the ship and the lighthouse at each location? So we're wanting uh, this distance and we're wanting this distance. Let's call that Y. All right. So inside this oblique triangle, I um, need some more angles. This 52 degrees is um, an exterior angle to the triangle, but I do know that this interior angle and the 52 degree angle are uh, a linear pair. So if I take 180 minus 52, that should give me 128 degrees as this angle right here. Then I know the three angles of a triangle add up to 180. So my 128 and my 23 is 151 and subtract that from 180. That'll give me uh, 29 degrees for this angle up here. So now I don't have my uh, A, B, and C, and angle A, angle B, and angle C but I can find the sides opposite given angles. So let's go ahead and do that. Uh, my X 
is opposite um, the angle that measures 23 degrees. My 5.8 is opposite the angle that measures 29 degrees. And my Y is opposite the angle that measures 128. So let's go ahead and solve for X first. So we'll be using uh, these two ratios. So we have X times the sine of 29 equals 5.8 times the sine of 23. Divide both sides by sine of 29. These will cancel, and I'll have x is approximately, grab my calculator, 5.8 times the sine of 23, close my argument, divided by the sine of 29, close my argument, equals. So it looks like 4.7 Then we'll use uh, these two ratios as my uh, proportion needed to find y. So I have y times the sine of 29 equals 5.8 times the sine of 128. Divide both sides by the sine of 29. And y then is approximately 4.7. divided by the sine of 29, close my argument, hit equal. So it looks like 9.4. Now before I go on to the next problem, I want to kind of make sure that this makes sense. My longest side should be the side that's opposite my biggest angle. So the y value should be bigger than 5.8 and bigger than 4.7, and it is. Then my middle sized angle, which is the 29, the side opposite that should be the middle sized side. 5.8 is between these two. So it makes sense, everything fits like it should. 